What's going on, guys? Late Bloomer coming back at you with another video. So, this will be episode 7. I was recording yesterday, but I lost the footage. So, and I wasn't able to recover it back. Now, with that being said, not a lot happened. So, I wouldn't say that you missed a lot. So, we're just going to keep going with what we have right now of course there were still soldiers lurking about Fort fortunately they were no match for lease come radiata is not much further of course in light of our recent encounter it will be prudent to proceed with caution and, and remain vigilant for imperial forces looks like it's safe to enter. I don't see any Imperials. Hmm. I don't see smoke above Castro Mabanya anymore. Do you think that they fixed the cannon already? I don't know. The only way we can find out is to go look for ourselves. If you say we were good, then I believe you. Alphanad said that we are looking for a rod again. For Rogad, Rogadin woman, right? And that we should answer her question with courage. Thanks for reminding me, I almost forgot. I suppose we'll just have to strike up a conversation with every one of them until we find our contact. Let me know if you find her and I'll do the same. Great. <laughs> Ain't seen you around before. Takes a certain kind of woman to walk into a place like this uninvited. One with courage, I suppose. Courage, you say? Well, that's in short supply these days. Oh, well, I figured it out. That's great. <laughs> Better to keep your head down and go along to survive. Call me a coward, too, if you like, because I'll not speak on it more. At least not here. Outside Radiata, behind those barricades over yonder, on the other hand. Okay, thank God. I was about to be like, wow, I don't have that emote. Because normally, you, if you, sometimes like you have to use emotes to, like, talk to people hey was that who I think it was well that's a relief or a trap either way I'll find Alpha not in Alize. we'll meet you there sure not followed were you good That's all of you, is it? Let's get on with it, then. Name yourselves. We are the signs of the Seventh Dawn, friends of Marshal Terrapin. Name's Stark. Stark Wode. The rest you know, or we wouldn't be here. This is about the Specula Imperatoris and the canon, isn't it? Just so. Can you tell us what happened? Aye. I overheard, I overheard soldiers talking while working in the mess. The Cerulean pipeline fueling the cannon was destroyed by an unidentified male insurgent, they said. One man single-handedly disabled the cannon? That's beggar's belief. Nevertheless, that's what they said. It took a while, but they've, ne they've finally put the fires out, and the engineers have been working day and night to repair it. Wish I could tell you more, but the incident had everyone jumping at the shadows and afraid to say much more. To take matters worse... Or to make matters worse, the Alamegan help have been sent home. In the Alamegan help has been sent home in indefinitely, so the cannon could already be fully operational. We need to sneak inside Castrum Abanya to ensure the cannon is no longer a threat to our troops. Can you help us? Aye, that much I can do. I've pieced together a map of the interior over the years, and I know for a fact that there are multiple points of entry. Impressive. If we split into several groups, that may improve our odds of reaching the fire control center. We may be a few in number, but I have faith that we can see it through.
We have that for which we came. All that remains is our preparations. Lise and her unit will make our primary objective the fire control center. At the same time, we will enter the castrum by way of the ventilation ducts, whereupon we will proceed into weapons research and create a diversion. If all goes to plan, our parties will subsequently converge, and together we will secure the cannon before finally notifying the Alliance that they are clear to attack. Sounds simple enough. I'll go and brief Nago on the details. The rest of you can come with me. We'll need to deal with the Magitech patrols before you can infiltrate the castrum. Hmm. Ba -da -bum. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -bum. Almost there, friends. Your point of entry is just around the bend up ahead. The last patrol should be here any moment. Once you've dealt with them, we'll be clear to advance, assuming they keep to their usual schedule. Might be prudent to stay I mean to stand watch for a moment after just in case. Yeah, prudent might be the right word for it. By Rauger. I knew you will law were good, but I never expected you to, de to defeat them so swiftly. Nova is the finest warrior I know, and I should like to think we have learned something from our time in her company. Now, where is the entrance to the ducks? Right behind you. I've mapped the branches, so you should have no trouble reaching the hangars or any number of other places. Understood. Thank you again for your, your in invaluable assistance. As discussed, Nova, we shall infiltrate the castrum and cause as much chaos as possible. This will draw the Imperials away from Lise and her men, thereby allowing them to safely reach the fire control center. If there is nothing else, I'll return to the resistance forces and show them the entrance. May Rauger, re may Rauger, Rall, may Rauger guide you to victory. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is your last chance to make your preparations, Nova. When you and yours are ready, we shall begin. Mm. That's nice that so you can come in with a party now. You don't have to wait for long hemis queue. I mean, for queues. For long queues, man. I wonder if it's better, though. This could be a mistake. And this is the first time I've ever gone in. One or more party members are new to this duty and bonuses will be rewarded. This is cool. I mean, killing me so far. I've never done this with with anybody but like real people. So like this is actually gonna be interesting to see like how good the AI is for these NPCs. It's kind of cool being able to come in here with Alphanon and Alize. Like it, it kind of makes the story better because like I'm actually fighting with the people that I actually would be going in with. They're actually kind of making this more of a one-player game. Honestly, that's kind of cool. For someone like me that was always kind of like iffy about uh, 
like MMOs, like I actually like this because you're kind of getting some of the MMO without the MMO. If that kind of makes any kind of sense. I'm not saying I want to not ever play with people again, but this is kind of cool. Really, it's just the queues, man. Like the queues are so long, man. Away with you. Ah, missed my rotation up. Okay, let's get you. Although, I will say this. I know that people like that have done these dungeons before like know like the mechanics. And I've messed up mechanics before not understanding what the mechanics were. Nope. Come here. Come over here. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Away with you. Oof, that hurt. All right. Nice. Nice heal. Nice. Nice. Wait, are there treasure boxes? Nope. Wait, does that mean I, I end up getting like the drops all to myself? That would be insanely dope. Honestly, man, like the way that some people run these dungeons, they run them so fast, like they speed run them because they've done them so many times and it kind of sucks for new people like me because like I appreciate the help, man, but there's been times like the first, first dungeon for like, um, what, A Realm Reborn? I, I, I basically didn't even realize, I mean, it was over before we even got in there essentially because they knew what they were doing and so they just went in there and just destroyed everything. The only thing that made that fight long is that you can't skip the, the cutscenes. Get out of that. Oh, I got through that. What's this guy doing? What's this guy doing, man? Oh, gosh, get out of this way. I have no idea what was supposed to happen right then. And that's the whole thing. That That is the good thing about having some people. Like, definitely. I don't know how you figure out half of this crap in the middle of battle, though. There's so much going on. Hmm. 
I messed up my rotation. That's great. No, don't do it again. No. Die, sucker. I mean, I guess it makes sense that I would get everything. Wait, I came in this way, right? No, I have to be going this way. It only makes sense to go this way. Jeez Louise, I'm stuck. <laughs> Crap. I got turned around. Oh, dude, that sucks. Whoops. I'm going the right way. I don't think I'm going the right way. Uh, maybe? Okay, I guess I am going the right way. Thank goodness. It's about to get lost up in here.
give them a show. Oh, crap. supposed to do in this situation what oh man away with you oh gosh okay Shoot. Oh, well, that sucked. Jeez. Don't tell me you have to do these areas again, please. Don't tell me you have to do these areas. Okay. See, now I'm actually going to have to learn these fights by myself without having to rely on people if I'm going to do it this way because, yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> I didn't know what the heck half of what was going on right then.
I have my pride. with you. There's got to be a reason why you can move that. Adam. Oh man. We oh, that's a lot of people. Holy crap. Whoops. Was I supposed to be pulling that many? Holy cow, dude. People, holy cow! I don't want to take these hits. I need to heal before taking these hits. Focus. Release. Yes. I have my pride.
away with you. Holy crap, what do you see? Gotta love these things. Holy cow, this is huge. I didn't even see that thing. I would have been using. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even see him. Ooh, we about to fight the big B, the big boss. Oh man. Hmm. Ugly. You are ugly. Crap, what was that? What's happening right now? Get over here.
much. What's he doing? Oh, I ran straight into it. That's that was wonderful. That's what I wanted to do. That's exactly what I wanted to do. All part of the plan. One fail in the dungeon with a NPC, I mean with a AI team, not, not too bad. I'd say I've seen worse. Understood. We're on our way. Lisa's unit should be advancing upon the fire control center in the command tower. Let us join them. He's a scrap heap right now. Lise, thank the twelve, you're all right. And you. There's the control center. Let's hit them hard and fast. Ready? Heck yeah. Let's get them. Yes. Take him out. Take her They're out. Here. Yeah, we are. What up? It was you, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I I gave the order to fire. It was over. The skulls had surrendered. No one else had to die. And you killed them. Your own people! Your own comrades! You're right! I killed them! Ansfrid, Rudolf, Emlyn, all the rest, trained and fought with every last one of them, good soldiers to a man. I gave the order that led to their deaths, and I knew exactly what I was doing. But why? Why would you do that? They died so that all Alamegans could live free. That was all we ever wanted. Uh. We made a promise that we would do whatever it took so that one day, one day the Imperials would learn to accept us. But everything comes at a price. And if you haven't got the means to pay, then you pay with blood. Huh. Mm -hmm. The service guarantees citizenship. But citizenship guarantees not. It's not enough to do your part, oh no. You have to run faster, fight harder, kill more and more and more, and only then will you be equal. That's just how it is out here in the provinces. You buy your freedom with blood. There is no other way. Shut up! Shut your mouth! You don't get to talk about freedom! You killed your own! They trusted you, and you killed them! Murderer! Butcher! Traitor! Oh, snap. Woo! That eye, she was like, nah, bruh, I see you. Nice. 
Nope. Dang. Look at her. Jeez. Ooh, dang. I know what you can do. I've already seen it. Alize. Yeah, she's in rough shape, man. are against me mm. you ran <laughs> coward coward <laughs> get back here invited to join him for the royal hunt to be hosted at the palace you may bring your horde if you like all are welcome uh, you about to get yours don't worry don't you worry She'll be all right, but we'll need to carry her. Will you help me? Absolutely. Thank you. Lise, I leave matters here in your hands. Uh, right. We just gonna leave Lise behind? Well, we did it. Castra Mabanya belongs to us now. Naga and her people took Alize and Radiata to receive treatment. Althanad tells me she'll make a full recovery. I know I should be happy we won with minimal casualties, but somehow it feels empty. We should report to General Alden. Kral was in here, but who knows, maybe one of Raban's men found something which could lead us to her. Can't hurt to ask anyway. Lieutenant Commander Hex, fine work you did today. After Specula Imperatoris, we, ne we needed a resounding victory like this. Thanks to you, Rauger's star yet burns bright. I'm glad I really am. But you know that Alizé was injured in the fighting. Regrettable, but I am pleased to hear that you will make a full recovery. Fildora's parting words, on the other hand, ring less favorable in my ears. But if Zeno's, but if Zeno's wishes to invite it, but if Zeno's wishes to invite us to his so-called royal hunt, then this bull would fain accept. What troubles you, Lise? Oh, it's nothing really. Just that we're almost to the end, but we're still, but we still, ha but we've still got to save Kral and do so much more. We'll find her soon enough. Pippin has his best men scouring the Castrum's archive as we speak. Listen, Lise. It will take time for us to fully occupy the Castrum and prepare to advance into the locks. While we wait, there's something I would like to show you, both of you. After all, this might be the last chance we have to catch our breath before the final push. I don't see why not. Then come with me to radiata from there we'll need to follow another road south <laughs> even even after all these years it's still the same Ah, uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. You deserve a proper welcome. Mm. 
Lieutenant Lees, I brought you both here for a reason. I wanted to show you this house. My house. You mean, this is where you grew up? Aye. Not much to look at, is it? Same could be said of the village. It was damn near impossible to live off the land, barren as it was. Which is why so many of us traded our plowshares for swords. Swords and uniforms, mind. We became military men. Tensions were rising between Alamigo and the Empire. And there was always a need for more soldiers to watch the border. It was only a matter of time before the first skirmishes broke out. It's a frightening thing to face Magitek armor for the first time. But after a lot of trial and error, I found ways to bring them down. After a few victories, people even said I had a knack for it. And then one day they hit us, hard. I was wounded and sent home to recover. Back here. Mm. Will you remain silent for fear of the Mad King's vengeance? Of his eyes and ears in the shadows and his knives in the dark? You who call this living dishonor our nation. It is but a slow death. Liberty or death. Liberty or death! If this be your creed, then raise up your hands, raise up your voices! Together we will tear Theodoric from the throne! Together we will reclaim our freedom! Hmm. Sent you home to men, did they? Aye, sir. Garlean's got the better of us. The... the Chirurgeons say I'm healing well. So it won't be long now. Liberty or death, is it? Tell me, soldier. What do you think those words mean? Uh, we... We must needs be willing to die for liberty. Spoken like a true patriot. But liberty should not be the end in of itself. Liberty is a chance to build something better. A stronger, more prosperous home for our people. It's not quick or easy work. And it is never truly finished. But if you neglect it, then sooner or later, you look up to find you've traded one tyrant for another. Well, sir, I, I've never asked for much. Never wanted to live like a king, just wish it were a little bit easier is all. For me and everyone else. And I'm... I'm willing to die for that, if that's what it takes. Dying is easy, soldier. Living is harder. Rest, men. Regain your strength. 
You'll need it in the days to come. Conrad chose you as his successor, Lees, and I will not gainsay his decision. I have but one question to ask. Liberty or death? Those were Curtis's words and his creed. Will you swear by your father's creed before your comrades and the gods? Liberty or death? That's all you can hope for in war. Father understood that. And you want to know if I do too? I swear to you, here and now, I will fight until the end. Be it liberty or be it death. But the freedom we win must be for every Alamegan. Even ones like Fordola, though they may hate us. And the Ananta, though they may fear us. We'll fight, and we'll talk, and we'll find a way to make it work for all of us. Compared to all that, retaking our home will seem like the easy part. Hmm. A good oath. And there is naught else to say. You are indeed <laughs> your father's daughter. Yeah, you are. Even a blind man can see that Lise wasn't herself, not that I don't understand. To be thrust into a position of authority under such circumstances, to be made responsible for the lives of so many, it isn't easy. And when you see your friends get cut down before your eyes, it only gets harder. I'll wager she thought Elise would was dead for a moment back there. Tis one thing to risk your life for a cause, but to risk that of another is a burden no soldier is ever truly ready to shoulder the fear the guilt it weighs on her and that's good it will make her a better commander but first she needs to learn to carry it to not let it break her to remember that some causes are worth fighting for liberty or death her father's words gave me strength once mayhap they'll do the same for her now right then i think i've said enough the two of you can head back i mean stay a bit longer I understand. I've been away for a long time, and he probably wants to be alone for a while. Let's head back to Radiata. Wait, am I the only one who feels like I'm being watched? I don't know if it's Imperials or Bandits, but I know there's more than one of them. Let's split up. You head northwest and I northeast. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so. Seven hells. She's seen us. Sought it. Dead's a as good as alive to the Imperials. They attacked you too, didn't they? I I had no choice. They're Alamegan, not even conscripts, but the look of them. Barely adults. In fact, some of their faces looked familiar. Wait, I remember. They're from Radiata. They must have seen us when we were looking for Stark. They probably thought the Imperials would reward them if they captured or killed... Oh gods, Alizé and Alphanod. 
could be in danger too. We have to get back to Radiata and find Naga. Dog's over here with his chew toy. It's hilarious. What's all this about? You took you two look ready to, for a fight. We were ambushed by villagers outside of Radiata and thought they might try to attack you too. Are you all right? Aye, right, we're fine. The twins are at Stark's. Alizé was asleep, last I checked. I'm sorry. Did you say you were ambushed by villagers, not soldiers? Did they not see what you did to Castro Malbanya? Gosh darn fools. Lise, Nova, we're over we overheard you talking. The ones that attacked you, they were young. Less than twenty summers. I I thought so. It's always the young ones, the ones who have only ever known the occupation. They're the ones that you've gotta look out for. See the only decent work to be found in Radiata is for the Imperials, and everyone knows it. Children grow up knowing it. They have it pounded into their skulls that the best that they can hope for is to serve an Imperial officer. Bloody fools. After everything they've seen as uh, seen us accomplish, they ought to be begging for the resistance, not us again. They've been living in a shadow of Castrum their whole lives. A few victories won't change that. I, you get some who can't wait to spit in a soldier's eye, but they get beaten for their trouble or worse. Even so. And the ones that don't fight back, but refuse to beg, they just starve, beat the dog that bites his master's hands, and ignore the dog that refuses to do his bidding, see? In the end, the ones that learn to abide are the ones that survive. Now, you may say that that's all about the change, and I believe you, but here, uh, I mean, many here do. But a young man or woman who grew up only knowing what he knows has got every reason to doubt. Remember that. Do what you have to do if it comes to it, but remember that. The sooner we liberate Alamigo and bring an end to the occupation, the better. Only then can we show these youths, these youths that the things they do have, I mean, that things don't have to be this way. Only they will know what it means to live free. Only then will they know what it means to live free. We're going to build a new home for ourselves together, a better home than they've ever known. I've been thinking, if Alizé needs more time to heal, maybe we should move to Rauger's Reach. She can receive much better care there, after all. Our infirmary, our infirmary is probably the best place for her, short of sending her to Grindania. Indeed, and given what Mistress Wode has told us, I would rather she did not remain here. Then it's settled. Nago, go and see about getting us a carriage and an escort for Alphanod. Or an escort us a carriage and an escort up a nod you should get your sister ready for the journey no but would you mind going on ahead and telling orella that we're on our way i want a bed waiting for alizé when she arrives thanks mm hmm do you require assistance Very well. We will make ready to receive the patient at once. Give me a hand, would you? There, all crisp and freshly laundered. We're here. Is everything in order? Right. We're bringing her in.
Honestly, Alpha Nod, you, need, you needn't have gone to all this trouble. What can I say? It seemed a good way to discourage you from limping off to battle when my back was turned. Listen to Aurela, please. You need your rest. I know, I know. Any news of Kral? She'll be cross if you make her wait too long, as will I. Ha! Huh. A chilling prospect indeed. I'll find her sister. I'll fight twice as hard for both of us. They're good together, when they're not at each other's throats. I miss that feeling. Nova, I have a favor to ask. Would you mind waiting outside for me? I won't be... a moment. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Well, what do you think? I know it's a bit old-fashioned, but in a traditional sort of way, Ida wore it whenever she could. Not that I'm pretending to be her or anything. Not again. It's just... If this is the last battle we fight to free El Amigo, then she ought to be a part of it. Mm, that's nice. It suits you. It's nice of you to say so. And a bit embarrassing. But mostly nice. I mean, you're the one that came dressing up for me. Anyway, the real reason I asked you here was to sneak in a warm-up before the final battle. There's this place I know where monks used to spar as part of their training. Care to join me? <laughs> nice. Are they about to bring us to the trailer? That's what's up. Oh, snap. Yep. On the top of the statues. That's what's up. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, please let it be a cutscene. the trailer let's go maybe we got a little bit carried away but you have to admit that was fun thank you Nova you're the best kind of friend the kind that's not afraid to knock some sense into you Now that Alize is settled in, it's time we rejoin the fight. Though actually, maybe you and Alphanot should go on ahead without me. I need to talk strategy with the officers, and that might take a while. Ah, there you are. What was it that least wanted you wanted of you? Aha! Sparring match on the destroyer's very palm. I would have liked to have seen that. But she is right. We have lingered here long enough. I'm ready to depart when you are. 
Take care, you two. Don't do anything I wouldn't. And you had better not rise from that bed until you are given express permission to do so. Ariadger will be paying you a visit soon. And he already worries enough as it is. We have a long road ahead of us. Lead the way, Nova. Hello, you poor devil. You are returned. How fares your sister, Alphanon? Her rapier wit remains undulled, for better or for worse. Have you been, have you, have, huh? Have there been any developments in our absence? I am proud to say that Castro Mabanya is now wholly under our control. At present, we are taking stock of the enemy's supplies and redistributing them amongst our men. Also, while sifting through the officer's documents, we learned that a unit of skulls under Fadola's under Fadola's command passed through the castrum en route to the capital with a single prisoner in their custody. Kral, it has to be her. In all likelihood, yes. You will be glad to hear that the tunnels leading to the locks has been secured by our soldiers and is now safe for travel. And one final piece of good news. Reinforcement from all of our four alliance nations have arrived and joined the main host, which has established a new base of operations within the locks. Commander Hex should be arriving soon, yes. When she does, we will call a meeting to discuss the final stage of Rogger's Beacon. Hey, Elise, what's up? Sorry for keeping you all waiting. An Alamegan folk dress. How very fitting, and well fitting, I might add. I wanted to do something for Ida, and myself. This is it, the last push. We're coming, Kral. I remember my father's words. How they rang in my ears as we left Castro Mabania behind and looked out over the locks before us. Comrades, brave and true. They had come from all across Eorzea to stand with us. To stand against oppression and tyranny. Twenty years the Empire had ruled us, but no longer. Liberty or death. Liberty or death. <laughs> That's dope. There we begin. I would say to you as a proud son of Alamigo that I am grateful to each and every one of you for your part in this endeavor. Now, to the heart of the matter. The enemy appears content to remain within the city walls and await the inevitable siege. Open conflict has been sporadic thus far. Whether Xenos is biding his time until reinforcements arrive, or attempting to bait us into a trap, none can say. We know better than to trust his word. Regardless, we can ill afford to present Garlemald with a chance to ready her legions. It would be in our best interest to press for a swift resolution. A long siege wouldn't be good for the people in the city either. If food becomes scarce, you know who'll starve first. Just so. Therefore, I propose we commit our forces to an all-out assault. What say you? It would seem we are of one mind. Then let us proceed to the how of it. The immortal flames will form the vanguard, supported by the archers and the conjurers of the Order of the Twin Adder, under the Elder Seed Seer's command.
Once the main host has cleared a path to the walls, we will bring forward the artillery of the Maelstrom and the Temple Knight. I would have your cannons pound the gates and punch a hole right through the middle of their defenses. What about the resistance? Your part will be to occupy the residential district and keep civilians out of harm's way. The people are more like to trust their own. Of course, you can count on us. Remember that there is a second entrance to the city proper there. If all goes to plan, we will have secured two points of entry. Once both objectives are complete, we press on into the city, surround the palace, and hunt down Xenos. As for the Scions, you will be held in reserve as an irregular unit until we have more intelligence on your captured comrade. Kryle's rescue will be your primary concern, but I dare say we'll find a use for you once her freedom has been secured. Thank you, General. I pray we find her quickly. I like this music. Ralga's beacon nears its end. Soon, my friends. Alamigo will be ours once more. Man, Final Fantasy 15's music. I mean, 16's music is gonna be so good. Oh man, I can't wait. Ah, it's gonna be so good. The stage is set and the players are assembled. Eorzea has come at last to drive the invaders from her lands. What would Grandfather say if he were here with us here today? You'd say don't die. For all of our other accomplishments, Kral remains in the hands of our enemy, and I find myself wondering if we, if I could have done more. Though we know now that she has, she was taken to the city, we have found nothing which might tell us where she is being held. You know, you can just ask me. Bruh. Thancred. <laughs> what have you learned? I shall spare you the particulars of my infiltration and simply state that I have seen her with my own eyes. She is being held with the residential district south of the city proper. I tracked her to the ruins of an old temple of the first of Raugers, of Rauger, Rauger, within which the Imperials have constructed a research facility. A, res a research facility? What manner of research? Why, methods to imbue Garleans with the power to manipulate ether. In the pursuit of which goal their scientists have, I am sorry to report, performed many questionable experiments on living subjects. What? Calm down, up and nod. We're already being tasked with securing the Alamegan Quarter. This just gives us a reason to do it faster. I entered and exited the facility by stowing aboard Imperial transports. But that method is not suitable for a large, larger force. And it goes without saying that the direct assault on the rather substantial main gates would be an ill would be ill advised. I think I might know someone who can help. One of my men, he had an idea about how to get into the city. Actually, it might be the best if I let him explain it himself. Man, man, thank her, man. It's been a while. I'll not take offense if you don't remember. Might even be glad of it. Alagana. Am I right? Aye. Whiskers the name. 
I was raised in the peaks, but my mom grew up in the city. Er, any road. I reckon we get inside the Alamican Quarter by way of Locke's cell. What? How? It was a story my mom told us which made me think of it. She always was going on about what life was like when she was a girl. See, they used to boil the water from the well before they could drink it since it was full of salt. They were drawing salt water from the locks, which means that there must be an underwater tunnel or something. Aye, that's it. But it won't be as simple as going for a swim. The well was closed, see. Apparently, Theodoric decided one day he wanted to control the water supply and forbade water trading. So even if you come up through it, you'll find yourself on the wrong side of a locked gate. At the time, my grandfather, being an enterprising sword, befriended a guard and lifted the key from his belt. He made a copy and carried on selling water until the Imperials invaded, and he ended up working at the saltery. In short, we need your grandfather's key, assuming he still has it. I'm certain he does, and I can take you to him, but it'll be dangerous. Don't you worry about that. We're used to dangerous. Nago and Erenvald. We'll assemble a squadron while the rest of us go and get the key. Da -da 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 -da. Let's not waste any more time, then shall we? My mom and granddad kept the key with him at all times as a lucky charm. If he hasn't got it, then well. Then we'll cross the bridge when we, when we come to it. Ready, Nova? We may have to deal with a few Imperial tr patrols or worse. Ah. The Psalter is not far. Follow me. We're here, but this isn't right. Where is everyone? Where are the Alliance's advance has surely reached their ears. Mayhap they sought refuge elsewhere. Oh, are we splitting up now? Thank you. 
Sorry guys, it was me who set up the trap. Now then, where were we? Oh yes, looking for clues. Yep, sorry dude. I screwed that one up. I guess I didn't realize that there were traps set around here, but I, mean, I guess it makes sense. Oh boy. Really? Oh. Yeah, I thought you said you're gonna lead the way. Why am I leading the way? I don't know where I'm going. Get your butt out over here. Dude, okay.
Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fail this mission because I don't know where the freak I'm going. Ugh. The monastery is just past this gate. Keep going. Well, that's a relief. Where the freak are my people at? Oh, so they decided to stop and fight, huh? Hmm, something tall, dark, and imperial appears to be blocking the entrance. Gosh dang it, I don't think there's a way around it. We'll just have to go right through it. Look, I think those two devices are shield devices. I'll keep the machine occupied, never be a darling, and destroy the generators. The generators? This is it. This is the monastery. They have to be around here somewhere else. Somewhere. What? What? 
Uh, Watt, Watt, it's me, Whiskar, your grandson. Whiskar, by Roger, is that really you? Oh, it is good to see you alive and well, lad. But who are th these other ones? The resistance, granddad. My um my comrades in arms. She told you all about me thumbing my nose at the mad king, did he did she? Ha. Huh. Daph Saws never caught me neither. It wasn't much, but it was my way of rebelling against his rule. Glad to see you've got a higher aspirations. Here, make our family proud. I will, I swear. Roger's as my witness. Roger as my witness. Yeah, we got the key. <laughs> like, oh, he's like, yeah. <laughs> he fell for it. Yeah. I was worried when he wasn't at the psaltery, but we found him in the end. Now that we got the key, it's time to find that underwater tunnel. We'll need to dive into the locks and look for a tunnel leading beneath the residential district. That should be no problem for Nova and me. Thanks to Cochin's blessing, for, but for the rest of you. I will, have no, I will have you know that I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. Hmm. I think it's best that I support Monago and Arenvald's unit. Alright, you can't swim. I'm aware of that, thank you. But it's neither here nor there, given that I lack both the Cogent's Blessing and Thinkrit's premature lung... I mean, pre... Preternatal, pre what? Preternatural, pre, preternatural lung capacity. <laughs> what? Right, right. Of course, I didn't mean anything by it. Nothing at all. Sonova, Thinkrid, and me. Let's head to the water's edge. Alphanod and Whiskar can rejoin the others and wait outside the gates for us to let them in. This looks like a good place as any. Air, you dive into the briny deep. Arianger, what are you doing here? Master often not informed me of your plan, and thus I did and thus did I hasten to your side. When Mistress Alizé unfolded to me the tale of your of her defeat, I was much intrigued by the apparent ease with which for Dola a third a third to four an exceptional warrior to find my warriors every my lady's every attempt to do her harm after some few days of deliberation i subsequently contrived that i believe to be a solution to the problem of her per turn pre turn natural pre pre science oh my goodness twas in hopes of Furnishing you with the fruits of my labors that I came. Wait, isn't that the Mona Brenda? <laughs> Moen Brida's? Oh my goodness. Her etheritic, I mean, etheric siphon formed the basis for my design. Jeez. Should my hypothesis prove correct, you need but activate it in her presence. To say more would endanger the plan, for ignorance is your shield. Some of us cannot pronounce these words at all. It was Mo and Brenda's time. It is yours now, my friends. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal and return. We will. For you and for her. Mm. 
Right. I'm going in. Follow me. I gotta say, this is probably one of the coolest aspects of Stormblood, is being able to swim. The tunnel leads east. Thinkrid's already gone ahead. Let's not keep him waiting. Yeah, he's got 10 minutes. <laughs> he can't breathe. He's gotta get going. That was fun. Yes, yes, tremendous fun. Who needs a beastman's blessing anyway? I still can't believe you managed to hold your breath the entire time. It felt like we were down there for hours. Anyway, it's time we let our friends in. Once we head up these stairs, we'll need to make our way to the main gates, which are somewhere to the west of here. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but it bears repeating that until we open the gates, we three are on our own. It would be in our best interest to avoid guards and easily startled small folk. Obviously, but once our guard, once our guests have arrived, we'll be free to head towards the research facility where Kral's being held as loudly as we like. Since you've been here before, will you lead the way? Of course, but I'll move quickly so you see that you do not fall behind. Nothing left to say then. Let's get to it. All set, Nova. He's Finkred. He's a beast, bro.
Let us leave them to it and head for the facility. Okay. They know we're coming. Make ready, my friends. I reckoned you law would come. But I didn't think you would have the nerve to break the bloody doors down. Make no, makes no difference to me, though. Time to die. Use the athletic siphon to weaken Fordola and defeat her in battle.
shoot. Jeez, I'm not paying attention to my attack. <laughs> oh snap she got rocked <laughs> she's like ah. no not after everything I cannot lose I will not hmm <laughs> You already have. Oh, but you will. Without your tricks, you're nothing. <laughs> Conrad, Mefrit, your own comrades. I should kill you here and now for what you did. Do it. But there's it. no place for that kind of justice here. Not in my Alamigo. Oh, how very bloody noble of you. Oh, you'll pardon me my sins, will you? After you and your freedom fighters come and tear down everything we've worked so hard to build. We were fighting for our people's freedom. Rocker. Tyrant, there's no freedom in that. Let's go, Lise. Now, my friend, Let's 
get Cryo. We gotta save Cryo. Cryo! As this moment is, it will have to wait. We should rejoin the main force at once. Lise! I'm taking her back with us, alive. She's going to answer for what she's done. <laughs> Listen to you, talking like you've already won. Xenos is gonna tear you apart. He commands a power, echoing that of the Icons. What are you talking about? The hunt, you stupid cow. I'm talking about the hunt. He said you'd come. And here you are, his willing prey. You and your friends are dead, just like mine. And all our misery, all our sacrifice, it was all for naught! End her lease. No. You're gonna live long enough to see us win our freedom. I promise you that. Mm, I like that. She's like, you're gonna live long enough just to see us free. <laughs> Interrogations can wait. Let us be off. Huh. What a relief to have finally found her. Though our greatest challenge yet lies ahead of us, the eve of this final battle, I find myself overcome with joy. We could not have saved her without everyone's help. Thank Red, Lise, Ariandre, Ur and of course you. But yes, there is still much more to be done, and I should be very interested to learn the meaning of Ferdola's ominous words, for one. Lisa's gone to deliver Fordola into the custody of the Alliance, leaving Monago and her men to hold the residential district and stand ready. Once the Alliance has breached the main gates and commenced their assault, the Resistance forces will push through the entrance here and join the fray. In that case, I will rem remain here. My search for Kral took me into the city proper, and my familiarity with, this, with their defenses may prove useful to their resistance. To the Resistance. Understood. I shall instruct Arenbald and his unit to render support as well. They were t tasked with securing the etherite, as I recall, with Minova. The heroes of the hour. Not content with securing the residential district, you gifted me an Imperial commander. What are you after, a medal? The work is its own reward, General. I must say, however, that Fordola's claims were not a little disturbing. What manner of power could Xenos have acquired that might equal an icon? Might she speak of our missing Omega? Very possibly. The Empire's fondness for comparable Alagon technologies is exceedingly well documented. Have we made any progress with our own investigation? None. The search goes on in earnest, but Sid has thus far found nothing of note. Mayhap the Galleons beat us to it. 
If they were working desperately to repair the machine, that might explain their decision to remain within their walls. Ah, Lise. I trust you surrendered Fordola into custody without incident. We were just discussing the pilot's claims. About Xenos and his newfound powers. She hasn't said a word on the subject since we rescued Kryle. Even when the interrogator asked nicely. Mayhap I can offer some insight into her claims. Or at least into the facility and the experiments they conducted during my time there. Though my memories of the period are somewhat muddled, there are a few things I remember with painful clarity. Thancred told us only that Fordola had undergone some manner of treatment. Yes. It is a place wholly dedicated to the creation of enhanced beings, whom they refer to as the Resonant. As I understand it, the process aims to imbue a test subject with the qualities of an individual with demonstrated magical aptitude. This entails... This entails the mechanical extraction and transfusion of some manner of primordial essence. So that's how Fordola improved so fast. I knew there had to be something. She wasn't half as strong or quick to predict my attacks when we first met. If it weren't for Orianja's siphon thingy, I really don't think we'd have beaten her. My humble scheme asked far more in the execution than it required in the conception, I do assure thee. Oh, you have got to stop doing that. In calling upon Lady Alize after her defeat, I was most intrigued to learn of the apparent effortlessness with which Fordola countered her attacks. Twas as if she knew the blade's destination ere its journey began. A most impressive feat under any circumstances, but an almost miraculous one when considered in the context of Fordola's unfamiliarity with my lady's arts. How then could she so perfectly predict an unknown opponent's every move? After much deliberation, I surmise that Fordola may be possessed of a preternatural ability to divine meaning from the fluctuations of an individual's ether and to instinctively react. To employ a metaphor, one might say that she was attuned to the whispers of my lady Alize's soul. Wait, have you not just described a manifestation of the Echo? I had no conclusive proof. The available anecdotal evidence suggested only that Fordola was uncommonly sensitive to etheric fluctuations, and twas this which led me to develop my stratagem. I would fashion a device with the capacity to generate a massive disruption in the surrounding ether. If, as I suspected, Fordola's senses were indeed questing for the most minor of oscillations. The shock of exposure to a more amplitudinous etheric waveform would be akin to a debilitating bout of ether sickness. How ingenious. I note that the success of your plan hinged on your device's wielder remaining ignorant of its purpose lest Fordola divine your intent. Indeed so, Master Alfino. All things considered, t'was a most fortuitous outcome. That's putting it mildly. In any event, if Irionje is correct, that would mean these Resonant have been granted the power of the Echo via artificial means. A sobering thought, to say the least. And one which makes me wonder what else Xenos has in store. Whatever the Viceroy's newfound powers, I know of none better equipped to face him. And face him you must. For there is now but one path forward, and it leads straight to Alamigo. And it's not as if we came unprepared. We've got all our friends and allies fighting for the same thing. Honestly, right now, I feel like we could take on anyone and win. And I mean anyone. 
<laughs> Victory is as good as ours. Exactly. Oh, I wouldn't want to be in Xenos's boots. Not with the likes of us coming to get him. Right. I don't know, man. He wrecked us before. The residential district. Thancred and the resistance forces are waiting. It is time we join the main host. Kryle, in light of your recent ordeal, might I suggest that you remain with the rear guard for now? Oh, if you insist. Just this once. If I may, General, is there aught Nova and I can do to assist with final preparations? I'm glad you asked. Pippin informed me moments ago that all forces are in position and that we are ready to commence the assault. Not remains but to notify the Alliance commanders. If you no objection, I should be glad to have you do the honors, Lieutenant. You were instrumental to the success of Operation Arkin. You helped bring to the, an end to the Dragon Song War. You are a hero to the people and a symbol of hope. Some might judge it an empty gesture, or worse, a waste of your talents, but I know it would mean much to everyone here. Ha! Huh. Then you should be the one to bring me word. By the Fury, it is good to see you, my friend. You who stood with us in the direst hour will ever be an inspiration to my countrymen and to me. Though Ishgard's debts can never be repaid, debt, debt, debt can never be repaid. It is my hope that our deeds this day shall go on some small way to readdressing, to redressing the battle. All is ready. Very well. Though, may, though many will fall in the coming battle, how many more shall know liberty for their sacrifice? There is a time for peace and a time for war. Even the matron understands this. We who have received of hers and the elemental's blessings go now to stand for Aeorzea and her children. Dang, Skippy. It's time then. Though this is not my theater of choice, we will play our part. Our cannons care not either way that battery has sunk enough ships to fill a fleet tis not to be the bested by a gate it is done then thank you lieutenant for humoring an old bull maelstrom matter and Ishgardian forces are in position, General. Resistant forces in Alamegan Quarter are ready and await our signal. Not left to do but the deed itself. Right then, I must go to my men. I shall be leading the first charge through the breach. Then we shall head to the front. Pippin has command of our artillery outside the gate. He'll not be far. He'll he will not be hard to find. Ah, but before you go, I have a final favor to ask. Give this to my son. He will understand. Lieutenant Alpha Nod, hmm, what is that you've got there? If 
by the twelve. This is this is Tazona. The bull of Alamega's legendary sword forged from the two cursed blades. This sword is a symbol of everything my father fought to achieve, a weapon claimed to, on the blood sands, and with it fortune and glory. Its flames consumed the unworthy, but by fire was he reborn. That he should bequeath it to me now, to carry on his legacy well, I shall endeavor to deserve it. But I'll be damned if this is his final battle. Once we begin, there will be no respite until it's over. Are you ready, my friends? Very well, brace yourselves. This should be quite a spec. Vice Marshal, Vice Marshal, Imperial unit approaching from the north. Aiming to destroy our artillery, are they? How many? Total numbers unconfirmed, at least one squadron, but sir, they're wolfmen. Fera Diomete? Bloody hell. That's all we need. Call up the Blood Sworn. Tell them to make ready. Marshal Terrapin, wait. These wolfmen of whom you speak hail from Doma. They will cor they were coerced into fighting for the Empire, spirited away to the foreign land and told that if they disobeyed the lives of their kin would be forfeit. But their homeland has been dis been liberated. They have no reason to continue serving their Imperial masters. Ere you engage them in battle, I beseech you, grant us a moment to go and attempt to convince them to lay down their arms. I am loath to give our enemy more time to prepare, but if this is a chance that this conflict might be avoided, I suppose we must take it. Go then, but be quick. We will, Vice Marshal. With me, Nova. We will wait here for Lu for Lupin to arrive. Steal yourself, my friend, though I hope to resolve this without resorting to violence. It would seem wise to prepare for the worst. Nice, bro. They come, Nova. You, clear the road. <laughs> they look cool. Honorable Warriors of Doma. My name is Alphanad Levier, <laughs> and I've come before you with news of great import. Silence, boy. You stand upon a battlefield. Be gone or be cut down. Doma is free. Lord Hien has returned and driven Yotsuyu and the Imperials from your lands. We were there. We helped him. There is no need for you to fight for Xenos. Lord Hien is dead, and you are a liar. What could a boy such as you do against Magitek? Throw stones and spit curses. Invoke my lord's name again at your peril. We will suffer no falsehoods. I speak only the truth. Put up your weapons, I beg you. Let us speak as friends and not shed blood as in vain. If your claims were true, you would gladly sheathe our blades and embrace as brothers. But since you must surely be false, we would be traitors to accept our lives and those of our loved ones forfeit. Words are error. You will prove the truth of your tale on the battlefield or die in dishonor. I was gonna have to fight them.
You are no strangers to, strangers to battle, that much is plain. I am the White, I am Hakuro, and I will be your opponent. Have at you. Uh, if you must die. Gosh, wasn't paying freaking attention. Ugh. Dude, really? That was stupid. I had a man. Come on, dude. That was lame. Dude, I am not happy about that. That was freaking lame.
I don't like losing those things. It ticks me off when I lose those things. Dude, get the freak out of here. Are you kidding me? I was in the middle of the dialogue. Rude. Son of a bee. Aw, oh, you made me mess up. Oh, you thought you were gonna hit me, did you? But, peace. You fought with honor and restraint. You could have killed my men, and perhaps even me, but you did not. For this, I thank you. Words brave and true, I pray you tell us the battle of Doma's liberation. We should be glad to do so. Lord Hien returned. Such joy this news brings us. But for Lord Getsit to, to perish in the keep's collapse, to be taken from us by such treachery, there is no justice. Eyes forward, Hakaru. He wished for no better death. You knew him well. Aye, he would not suffer us to mourn with so much undone. And so we will not. Duty comes before all. All Lupin shall know of Doma's liberation and all end of your part in it. When you breach the gates, we, will sh we shall turn on the Imperials as one. With fang and claw... Shall we rip open the throats of our masters? This is the white swear. I mean, this is the white swears. Thank you. When our war is ended, I am certain that your lord will help us to return you all to Doma. Such a curious thing, destiny, to see us meet with friends of Lord Hien in this distant corner of the world. But we shall not keep you. Your day is not yet done. Hmm. Come, let us keep our comrades waiting. We have a nation to liberate. You are returned. Were your negotiations with the Wolfman successful? The one they called the White was receptive to our words once we told him of Doma's liberation. They withdrew behind the walls to inform their brethren. If the gods are good, no blood shall be shed between our peoples this day. 
Here, here. Now, I think it's time we did something about those gates. Thaumaturges, forward! Give me Hellfire! Give me Ifrit, bloody Inferno! Give me a curve in winter! Enough ice and snow to bury a behemoth! All cannons! Fire at will! Let no man say we neglected to knock! Holy crap, what just happened? Damn that armor! We nearly had it! I don't know if you did, though. Oh, snap. There we go. Boof. That's what I'm talking about. Is that... Lord Hien. Bear witness, my Eorzean brothers and sisters. Doma is come to pay her debts. Lord Hien. We will deal with the flying machines. Forward, my friends, for freedom and justice. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. You heard the men. All cannons resume firing. <laughs> yeah, man. Knock that gate down. We're through. The way is clear. Impeccable timing, those domans. Come, comrades. The enemy's gate is down. Forward. Storm blood. At long last, the end is in sight. Hmm. The battle for Alamigo is at hand. All forces have been ordered to advance into the city proper. Lieutenant Althanad, may I ask you to be a part of the first charge? Twould be our honor. I will join them, but another soldier. But as no, as a no, but as another soldier. The command of the flames I leave in your capable hands, Pippin. I don't suppose we could come along too. Lise, Arnveld. Nago and the others told me to go with you, Nova, to bring Xenos to account for everyone. I am Alamegan too, in case everyone's anyone's forgotten. My name, uh, my place is in the thick of it, and it doesn't get thicker than where will where you'll be. Let us sally forth then. Together we'll 
I mean, we make for a royal palace. There to find and strike down Xenos. Alright. Alright, so with that, I'm going to end this video. Take a break because I got Final Fantasy 16 to play in about 40 minutes. Anyhow, take it easy, guys. Peace out.